Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make this square. This square is called Bavarian Beauty and has been designed by Heather Gibbs. The yarn that I'm using for this square is Schepius Stone Washed Yarn. I'm using this in combination with a 3.5mm crochet hook. I'll take you step by step through the rows that make up this square. Thank you for watching and I hope it's a useful video for you. Round one, I have a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to start with a chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then close on the first chain stitch with a slip stitch to form a ring. You can also do a magic ring here if you prefer. We're now going to work four um, groups of stitches into this ring. Start with a chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then in the ring we do a treble four together. A treble is twice over. Then in the ring, pick up your yarn. Take off two loops, take off two loops. Now stop, I'm going to do it again. So that's twice over, take off two loops, and take off two loops. You've got two legs, we want four of these. So we're going to be working at four trebles together. And take off two loops, and again, another one more time. <coughs> and now you have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. You see there the four legs of the four trebles. I'm going to yarn over and take them all off in one go. This is a treble four together. Chain five. One, two, Five. You're going to come back down to the ring, to the chain six ring, and in this ring work a slip stitch. And what you see is that you've now worked a group of stitches where you've got the chain five, you have the um, treble in the middle, and you have the chain five coming back down. And this group of stitches you're going to do this four times in total, so we need to do this three more times. I'll show you again. And I'm just going to push a little bit here, just to make sure that I have enough room on this chain six space. And the last one is going to need a little bit of help from you to get it all in. But I prefer a chain six as opposed to a magic ring, because a chain six um, it just doesn't let go that easily. A magic ring, if you don't work it in really well, can come undone. This has happened to me in the past. Again, chain five, two, three, four, five, and a treble four together in the ring. It's twice over. One, two. Three and four. And then again take them all off in one go. So you've got five loops on your hook. Take them all off. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then again come down into the ring and work a slip stitch. There we go. Just missing the yarn. Now I've done the repeat two times. I'm going to push this a little further again because I need to do two more. I really need I'm going to have to make room for these stitches. They're really going to have to share. They're really just going to have to uh, move whether they like it or not. There we go. Now I've got 
got a bit more room again. Need to do number three. Two, three, five. So chain five, then in the ring, treble four together. So one. Three and four, five loops on your hook, take them all off, chain five, one, two, three, five, and then come down, and again, I'm going to make some room there, close with a slip stitch in the ring, and I have three pedals. Need four, so I'm going to do it one last time. Chain five. In the ring again, a treble four together. So one. Five loops on your hook, take them all off. Chain five, and then come down in the ring and close with a slip stitch. At this point, it is all a bit of a squeeze, but we've managed to get it in. You can cut your yarn, and you're ready for round two. Round two, I'm going to attach my yarn in any slip stitch between the pedals. Now it doesn't matter which one you choose to take this one. So that slip stitch between the pedals, attach with a slip stitch. If you're using the same color yarn as round one, you can just continue where round one left off. Chain two. And now we're going to go over to the first pedal. And you see here, you see a chain five. You see the treble four together, and then you see another chain five coming down. Now we're going to work 12 trebles in the top of the treble four together. Now, technically speaking, this is the top of the, this is the end of the chain five. Then this stitch here is the top of the treble four together. You'll notice that this might be a slightly bigger loop because that's where you took them all off in one go. That would be this stitch. And then you have the chain 5 coming down and that first of the chain 5, this one here, has kind of made a little eye here at the top of, um, of, of the pedal. If I just pull it open a little bit, I'm hoping you can see, you see that little eye there. You see that little eye? And that little eye, I'm going to be working the 12 trebles. So technically, 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 this isn't the top of the stitch because this is the first of the of the um, chain five coming down. But if you work it in this eye here, I find that you get a nicer look than if you work it in this loop here. You want to be in the top of the pedal, and this to me is more the top than that. So that's why I'm going to work it in there. So in that position, I'm going to work 12 trebles. Twice over, then <coughs> into that eye, work the first treble. And the first one might be a little hard, and then after that they go easier. That was two, so this is two, sorry, this is two. I'm going to work twelve. Three, you can already see that eye opening up. Three. and 12. That's the last one. Oops. And 12. Oh, let me just do this again. <laughs> Didn't have the, my t the tension on my yarn right. Twice over. And number 12. And 
what you see by working 12 trebles is that you really form a loop around this treble four together. So you really go around and come out the other side basically. And now you're going to do chain two and then come down and close again with a slip stitch in the slip stitch from round one. Let's chain two. Come down in that slip stitch from round one that's kind of between the pedals. Close there with a slip stitch. And this you're going to repeat on the other three pedals. So for the next repeat, do exactly the same as on this side. Chain two. In the next treble, I'm going to work treble um, 12 trebles just like here. I'm going to work there. Again, I'm going to work it in the eye of that stitch. Twice over. And then first treble of 12. This is 2. And and 12. And again you see I've worked I've come around this pedal. Chain two and now we're going to close with a slip stitch again in this slip stitch from round one. Into that slip stitch. close with a slip stitch. I've now done the repeat two times with you. Now I've done it two times on these two pedals. Repeat and do it on these last two also. And then close again with a slip stitch here on that stitch where you started. I'm going to do this on these two stitches, these two pedals also. Round three a new color yarn and we're going to attach on any of these four petals you have 12 trebles here we're going to attach between trebles 4 and 5 so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 this is treble 4 that's treble 5 and we're going to just kind of take this space between the two I'm going to insert my hook in that space and pick up my yarn. Now we're ready to go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Over the next four trebles, we're going to work a back post treble four together. So that's going to be twice over. Then around the next treble, so that's going to be treble number five here. Go from the back, around the post, pick up, to work a back post treble. And take off two loops, take off two loops, and then stop. Do the same on the next three also. So that's twice over, around that post, take off two, take off two. And twice over, around the next one, take off two loops, take off two loops, and twice over, around the last one, around the back of that stitch, from the back around the post, take off two loops twice. At this point you have five loops on your hook. You can take them all off in one go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to come down and between trebles eight and nine work a slip stitch. Now treble number eight was the last one where you work this back post on. This here is treble number nine. So that's number nine, that's number eight there. So again kind of between those space of between those stitches, 
attach with this slip stitch. And you can see how this here is very similar to what we did in round one. That's the first part. We're now again going to work a series of trebles together over the next eight stitches. Start again with a chain five. One, two, three. And over the next eight stitches, going to work. A tr so we're going to work a treble eight together, basically. Twice over. Around the next stitch again, back post. So this is going to be treble number nine on this side here. It's the first leg. Then the second. Third, fourth, and these are the last four stitches on this first pedal. I'm now going to move over to the next pedal and work back post treble legs on the first four trebles here. And your hook will get kind of full with all the loops. I kind of have to stack them. So around the first treble, work a back post treble, this uh, and only the leg, let me call it that. And this is second. And I'm really gonna have to hold on to all of these loops so that nothing goes wrong with them. And the, the last one is around the fourth treble on the next pedal. At this point you have a whole series of loops on your hook, nine in total. I'm going to yarn over and pull through in one go. And while I do that I'm just going to push my hook a little upwards that I don't accidentally snag any of these loops here. You want to be able to pull through cleanly. So I'm going to yarn over and then pull through and push up at the same time. And then pull through in one go. That's a treble eight together that you just work there. Chain five. One. You can see how that first one kind of again makes it a little eye there. Just chain one. Two, three, four, five. And now we're going to close again with a slip stitch between trebles four and five. So here we have just had the work works first four. This is number five, so kind of in between that space. Close with a slip stitch. And this point here is exactly the same as the point where we started there. So this bit, you're going to do this on the other four corners also. So you're going to work, because this is a corner here, that this, this is a corner, and this is your straight edge. So you're going to now work a corner again, and a straight edge, a corner, a straight edge, a corner, and a straight edge. And then you're going to work your last slip stitch here between again where we attach the yarn. So between trebles four and five. So what I've just shown you, repeat this on the other three edges also. Round four. I'm going to use the same color yarn that I have used in round three, currently here in the stitch where we had the slip stitch. If you're using a new color yarn, you're also going to attach in the same position at any slip stitch position before the um, treble fall together. So for example, in this slip stitch here or in this one here. So in any of those slip stitches, you're going to attach your yarn with a slip stitch. Using the same color yarn, you can just continue where you left off. So attach here with your new yarn, and then it's this chain two, and now again in the top of the um, of this treble four together, going to work twelve trebles. 
This is very similar to what we did in row 2. So in the top of that treble, I'm again going to work 12 trebles. So twice over. Now again in the top of that treble. And I'm again going to choose to do it in the eye of that stitch. I'm going to work 12 trebles. This is 1. Two, to continue until I have twelve, all in the same position. Three and number twelve. There you go. So I've now worked twelve trebles in the top of that stitch. And because it's all the same color, they nicely flow into one another here. Chain two, and I'm going to come down and close with the slip stitch on the slip stitch from the previous round. So on that slip stitch. Chain two. And now we're going to move over to this, um, these eight trebles we work together. And again, in that eye there, I'm going to work 12 trebles. Just twice over, and now work 12 trebles. Sorry, not 12, 8. 8 trebles, 8, 8, 8. Sorry I said that wrong. You work only 12 when you do the corners. On the edges you work 8 trebles. In that, in that eye, for me that's really the top of the stitch. How many do I have? One, look at one, two, three, four, five, six travels, seven. Eight trebles in the top of that stitch and again because it's the same color they really blend into one another using two different colors you get more the effect like here that you see a slight gradient between the stitches chain two and then come down and in that slip stitch from the previous round work a slip stitch again And now this position is exactly the same as the position where we just started. So that means I'm going to repeat everything we just did. So chain two, and here in the top of the stitch, work 12 trebles again. Chain two, come down, do the slip stitch. Chain two, in the top here, that I work eight trebles. Chain two, come down and do the slip stitch here. So that was repeat two, three, and four. When you've gone all the way around, close here on that first stitch with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut my yarn for the next round we use a different colour. Round five, I have a new colour yarn, and this round is very similar to round three. We're again going to attach our yarn between the fourth and fifth treble on any of these twelve trebles that you've worked in the one stitch those corner trebles. Any one of those. One, two, three, four. So between trebles four and five, I'm just going to attach my yarn. Then chain five. One, two, three, five. On the next four trebles, work a back post treble four together. Just twice over. Around the first one, the first leg, around the second, another leg, the third, another leg. So this is very similar to what we've done two rows down, and the fourth. You have five loops on your hook, take them all off. 
chain five. to come down and again between stitches 8 and 9 in between close with a slip stitch we're going to move on and work a treble 8 together over these over the next 8 trebles start with a chain 5 5 on the next four work back post treble one Now you move over to the next um, pedal that it says eight, um, eight trebles, and on the first four, also going to pick up one leg on each. And you're again going to have to stack all those stitches on your hook. Three. nine loops on your hook, I'm going to take them all off in one go then chain one two, three, four, five on the top of this treble, of these series of eight trebles between stitches four and five I'm going to insert there with a slip stitch Now you've worked one straight edge here. I'm going to do this, I'm going to repeat on this side also. So again, chain five. <coughs> Three, four, five. And now again a treble eight together, so decreasing over the next eight stitches. Twice over. First leg, second is on the next, the third, the fourth, and a bit more yarn. I really need to get keep a hold of these loops so they don't fall off my hook. Treble. On the next one, you're going to work on the first four. Two, three, and four. And this really is about the maximum number of stitches I can get onto this hook. Yarn over and pull through all of them. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then close here again with a slip stitch between stitches four and five. And this slip stitch is exactly the same as that one which we just started with. So everything you've just done here on this edge, I'm going to do this on the other three edges also and then close here on your first stitch with a slip stitch round six um, new, same color yarn on my hook as round five but we're going to start in a different position so I've cut my yarn I'm going to start in the top of any corner you've got these four trebles here that make up the corner I'm going to start in the top of that stitch with a standing double crochet so 
in the top of that stitch start with a standing double crochet you can also attach here with a slip stitch and then do a chain 3 also good do another double crochet in the same stitch chain 2 and then two more double crochets in the same stitch this is your new corner made we're now going to work on the straight edge we're going to work three double crochets between where we're now at and the next slip stitch but what's important is we're going to work over the chain 5 space and then into the chain, um, the, the post from this double crochet. Let me show you. I'm going to work five, three double crochets. So yarn over, then over the chain space and around that post. Work a double crochet. It's one. Work a double crochet in the slip stitch you have here. On the next chain space, again over the chain five and then into the treble into the treble below. Next stitch is the top of this eight together stitch. So then a double crochet in there. Again, three double crochets around the next double and the chain five space. There's one. There's one. Double crochet in the slip stitch. Three doubles again around the next stitch, the next treble, and covering the chain five. Double crochet in the top of the eight together, and then three more on your last chain five space. And one on the slip stitch. Now you're almost to your next corner. Again here also exactly the same. Three doubles. Next up is the corner space. So in the top of the treble um, four together. Work two doubles. Chain two and two doubles and two and this corner is exactly the same as that corner. So what you've now done is you've extended the straight edge and you've just made it nice and flat and straight with all those double crochets. So you've just done on this edge. Repeat on the other three and after you do your last three double crochets here, close on the chain three or your standing stitch with a slip stitch. Round seven, 
new color yarn. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space. <coughs> I'm going to attach my yarn with a slip stitch to that corner space. Chain two. This is my first half double. Yarn over and work another half double. Chain two and two more half doubles in the same space. Now onto the straight edge. I'm going to work a half double in every stitch on the back loop. Now especially the first stitch, be mindful not to accidentally skip that stitch. It's that little stitch there. That one there. Let's work a back loop in this stitch. Back loop only. So you see there the back loop of the stitch. Just taking the thread with me. Work a half double. And also on the next. I'm going to continue like this, working a half double on each stitch, but the back loop only. It's going to give you this nice little edge here. You see that's being formed by the front loops of the stitch. And in the same go, I'm just working over my yarn tail so I don't have to work that away later on. So work a half double in every stitch in the back loop. And when you get to the corner, work two half doubles, chain two and two half doubles. And then you can go on to the next edge. Continue like that all the way around. When we get to your first stitch, you can close on your first stitch here with a, with a slip stitch or an invisible join on that chain two. Row eight. Row eight is a repetition of row seven. So row eight, nine and ten, we're going to repeat row seven. I'm just going to show you the start of this row again and then you should be able to do it without me. In the chain 2 corner space attach a yarn with a slip stitch. Chain 2, two. you can also do a standing half double here if you prefer. Another half double, chain 2 and two more half doubles. And two. Now we're going to work a half double in every stitch on the back loop. And especially this first one here is a little tricky. You see this first stitch? You could accidentally skip that stitch. So that's the one that if, if your stitch count is wrong, you must probably skip that stitch. So I'm just going to open this up. You see there's a stitch and then there, you see I've just pulled this back and also because it's a half double it can be hard to get into but that there is the full stitch but you only want the back loop. I'm just going to yarn over, just grab the back, the back loop there and I'm just going to work over the thread, my beginning yarn tail. So you see that little hidden stitch. That's one that could go wrong if you accidentally miss that. And then continue and work a half double on every stitch in the back loop. And continue this until you get to the other side. When you get to your next corner, work again two half doubles, chain two, two half doubles, in the chain two corner space. In the process you make a new corner. Go all the way around and then close with a slip stitch or an invisible join on your chain two. This is then round eight. You're going to do exactly the same as we did here for row eight. You're going to do also for row nine and row ten. After you've completed row 9 and 
10, so row 8, 9 and 10, this is what your square looks like. Take a moment to block your square, you'll just notice that it'll make it all nice and straight. When you're finished with this square, I want to thank you for watching, I hope to see you again next time.